and we are back again with Fukushima this time. It's going to be a great, great stream. Honestly, it's going to be insane. I feel like we could get the promotion. And as you can see on the screen, we are not far off of it, to be perfectly honest, which is always, always a good, good sign. It is a great sign for us to win this game win these games, get get into the promotion mix and win something in our first season. Well, I mean, I don't I don't know if we're going to win the title. We certain most certainly going to try. But let's see how we get on in this stream, lads. It's going to be absolute quality, I have to say. It's going to be class. It's going to be insane. Hopefully, we can get this, get this done today and get this going, shall we say. It's going to be, hopefully, a very good, very good stream today. Hey, Liam, good, good to see you, my bro. How you been? Yeah, I've been good, man. I've been good. I've been good. It's been, it's been a, it's been a good day, man. It's been a good day, I have to say. It's gone quick, though, lads. It's gone quick today. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, it's gone quick. Last night's football did not disappoint. But let's be honest, last night's football was absolutely insane. I'm glad I made the uh, the switch uh, over to the uh, to the games, man. And Liam, thanks for posting it in the Discord as well, bro. Appreciate that. Absolute love that, man. Thanks for that, bro. Appreciate it. But today we have the chance of becoming a J League Two side. Which is, you know, could be very good for us. Could actually be very, very good for us to become a J, J League 2 side in our first season. I mean, to be fair, we got really lucky taking over this job. Like, taking over the job when they were in second place. a uh, Third place, sorry. Like, we had job offers from other teams, but I think you guys made me choose the right selection, which was... Fukushima, we're doing absolute bits. Lots of injuries though, lads. Lots and lots of injuries. Which is a which is a shame, but uh yeah, Liam, if you don't mind, that would be class if you could do that, brother. That would be absolutely insane. Well, we'll give people some time. I'll just take a look at seeing some uh some some players that we could get, to be perfectly honest. A left back, what are they saying for the left backs? We do need a left back. An AML, no one in there yet, one in progress. All all positions. Not really much going on in terms of the uh, of the scouts, but that's to be expected, I think, at this level. And if you are in the stream, do please like it. It does help. Uh, and get involved in the chat. We talk about anything. It's a very much a community channel. And don't forget, I think October is the new gen youth that come through um, the save in Japan. So don't don't forget to stick around for that because you can become a new gen in this save. I mean, who doesn't want to be a new gen in Football Manager? Um, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be class. Absolute insane. We'll do a little recap uh, for you guys in case you wasn't here yesterday. We are sitting pretty in the J League third division. We are second place. We're fighting out with Kit in third and then in Bari who are top. But I feel like they're too many points ahead for us. Uh, at the moment. How many pens today, mate? Probably a lot of pens. We gave away a pen almost every game in, in yesterday's stream. So, yeah, I feel like definitely, definitely could be giving a lot away today. Um, it's just how we do, man. It's just, it's just how we do, I think. I think that's the, uh, that's the key to it is, uh, I feel like, yeah, it's, yesterday we were just giving away pen after pen after pen. But we've got Ryu FC today to kick off the stream. Ryu FC. I mean, some of the names in these divisions are great. And I, mean, I love the badges. The kits are insane as well. I haven't learned any Japanese words yet, but we'll get there. If we stay in the J-League for a long time, I'll uh, I'll make sure that I, I learn some Japanese just for that occasion, shall we say. Oh, another injury. Oh, it's a good job he's in the reserves. That's fine. I was going to, wow, if it's a first-team player that's injured again, we've got so many injuries at the moment. People coming back from injuries as well, which is good to see because we're, we're going to need them. 
we are actually going to need them, to be perfectly honest. Which is uh, one of those ones that I think like it's uh, it's gonna be gonna be a strange one. Which game did I watch yesterday? I watched most of Man City, and then I watched the stream went out, so I had to then watch uh, Arsenal, which was uh, which was not the best game to watch. But yeah, it is what it is. It was um, it was um. It was a good game though, Arsenal. The last, the last second half was really, really good. I mean, I enjoyed it to be honest. I mean, it was a great game, great game. I don't think it was a penalty though, the Arsenal one. I don't, I don't think it was a, I don't think it was a penalty. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, man. I don't know. I just, I genuinely don't know if it was a pen, not a pen. I, I first thought when I first watched it, it was a penalty. But after watching the replay, I don't know. I think he could have got out of the way to be honest. And if he, if he just stood up, he would have scored. Which was um, which was a shame from Saturday. He literally just needed to stand up, put the ball past the goalkeeper, and I mean, yeah, I just got a feeling Bayern Munich are gonna gonna destroy them at home. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. I think Sane coming off was big for them as well uh, in that game. But yeah, I missed all the bangers in the Real Madrid game. I missed absolutely every goal in the Real Madrid game, which was annoying because there were so many bangers. Valverde's goal was a banger. Foden. Who who got uh, Guardiola as well? His his goal was a banger too. I mean, today's games have got a lot to live up to. PSG Barcelona is probably going to be the game that I watch today. To be honest, um, I feel like that's probably going to be the the game that I watch. Straight on the attack with Kobayashi. Come on, Koba. Koba, it's a poor ball in from Koba there, and they deal with that really really well. To be honest, they're away. Oh no, are we going to start the stream by conceding a goal? <laughs> There's our good form. Should we have just carried on yesterday and finished the season? I always wonder that. I always genuinely wonder that if we should have done that. Here's Kobayashi into Nobe. Takes a poor touch. Gets taken off of him. I think they're going to score here. The highlight's gone on far too long for them not to get a goal here. And it's Fukuruma and it's in. Yeah, it was always going to be a goal. And uh, <laughs> opinions on the PO. That's a mad question, bro. I don't even know what that is. Not going to lie, bro. I don't know what that is. But we are one down to kick off the stream. I mean, <laughs> who's seen that coming after yesterday's performances? But hey, here we are, struggling against a mid-table side. Back to getting stream sniped. Come on, boys. Yuki. It's another poor touch. We're going to get punished again, I think. Awano. Nobe. Go on, Nobes. I think Yuki's offside. Play carries on. Should be our uh, Yuki fires us back in the game. Come on, Yuki, bro. That is a big goal. 1 1. Pegged back immediately. Immediately from kickoff. Can't ask much more from the lads there. Fukimura. Oh, and they're straight in front again. We've conceded two goals in 10 minutes. It's not going well. It's not going well at the start of the stream. We're getting dominated by a mid table side as we're chasing promotion. <laughs> let's go <laughs> yeah <laughs> we need something lads we need something here is amori suzu who's just been he's just going to get taken off because he's injured no bay we need it we need to get back in the game here obu into kobayashi tanaka's in go score oh my jesus he's missed a sitter tanaka misses a sitter an absolute sitter of a miss there from Oh, no. Oh, terrible. Absolute terrible. It's a great ball in, and they just absolutely just miscued it. Oh, Jesus. We're 3-1 down. Could be looking like our first loss of the season to kick off the stream. Ha! <laughs> wow, no. It was all going so well. It was all going so well, and not so well at the moment, which is fairly annoying. But hey, here we are. They've had three shots. They've scored three goals. We're getting absolutely FM'd in this game. Absolutely FM'd, lads. In this game. It's not looking good, Liam. It's not looking good at all, I have to say. I don't know. We're going to have to have a big second half. If we can get back to a point, that would be, that would be insane. But at this moment in time, it's really not looking good. We're getting outclassed. Good tackle. I thought I was going to get a pen there. 
and it's a portable win again and we're exposed for Karuma, they've just got our number i think this team just got our number it's looking like one of those games you nowhere know, like this could be our bogey team for the save type type game but we are only 48 minutes in we should we should we should be able to we should be able to come back in this game no bay couldn't find the pass yeah it's i'm i'm, I'm looking for like kevin de bruyne passes Burge, good to see you bro man how you been been a while keep up the good work i'll catch you on another stream I'll, and i can watch longer no worries bro i missed the goal there from tsunami but i was talking to Burge. appreciate you coming in bro man it's been a while it's been a long while we can get back into this lad oh it was disallowed i even missed the disallowed goal who do you think will make the next stage Bayern or arsenal man city or madrid i think Bayern munich by munich man city munich man city is gonna be the is gonna be the one i think for the, for the next round in my opinion i feel like that's the most likely outcome i don't see Bayern losing at home to arsenal unless arsenal have one of those performances that's you know just a classic european night i, I don't i don't see it could we go 4-1 behind oh no he's done him again 4-1 lads all right <sighs> jesus christ bad and this this team are good all right let's change the tactic we just gotta go for it now yeah let's just go for it we'll just change it and go for it 4-1 behind wow getting absolutely battered to kick off the stream <laughs> i think our promotion hope is uh taking a big a big batter in here lads <laughs> we've been humbled we've been absolutely humbled by Rai ufc goalkeeper's playing a six let's get him off don't normally have to substitute the goalkeepers you know it's not normally a thing. Awano is playing bad as well. Jesus. I think I think we just haven't lost the game yet. Where are they in the league? They are 11th. So uh, pure mid-table side. Cal Prince, good to see you, bro, man. How are you? Joining us as we're 4-1 down. Hopefully we can make an incredible comeback. Tsunami. Oh, that's a Sunday league finish from Tsunami. Josh, good to see you, bro. How are you? But yeah, join the stream at a, at a bad time because we are 4 1 now in the J League. Go on, Tsunami, waving forward. Can he get this one in? Oh my Jesus Christ. Garkar near a barn door, bro. Wow. Terrible. Absolute terrible there from Tsunami. He's missed a couple. Look, look, look. They've had four shots on goal and scored four goals. There is nothing you can do about that. Getting absolutely FM'd in our first game on the stream. We've got to improve because we're now only two points above Kit. I'm good, bro, apart from being 4-1 down. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm good. I'm good. Apart from being 4-1 down and getting battered to start the screen, uh, stream, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I found you from your TikToks. Let's go, Josh, man. I appreciate that, bro. But, yeah, we kicked off with a 4-1 defeat. I mean, we've got to lose a game at some point. It's our first loss as manager. It happens. It, it, we got FM. They had four shots. They scored four goals. I mean, what's the worst you guys have been FM before? I think that's one of the worst ones for me. There was just no, there was just no intensity in that performance at all. It was a, uh, yeah, it was a little bit poor from the lads on this journeyman save. But who do you guys think are going to progress? Bayern, Arsenal, City, or Madrid? I mean, it's got to be City, Bayern. It has to be City, Bayern. I can't see anything else, unless Arsenal can pull that out of the bag. Unless they pull something out of the bag, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But it's Europa League tomorrow night, isn't it? Yeah, Europa League. I think Liverpool are playing in the Europa League. That's a decent player. We'll have to we'll have to get some good players in next season by the look of it. We go again, Josh. Uh, Liam, hundred percent. We do go again, bro. We do. We go again. That's it. It's just just the game. It's just a defeat. We're not. We're not. We're not fighting for relegation here. And even if we don't go up this season, which is a disappointment next season will dominate next season will absolutely dominate arsenal and city to go through yeah i, mean, I can see it you know arsenal could do it it'd be one of those like historic nights for arsenal if they can do it i had like 2.5 xg in my last game and with 0.08 we still drew 1-1 damn drawing 1-1 as well that's that's a madness honestly like yeah, I don't, I don't... FM, you just get FM'd at times. We, we've all been through it. As long as it isn't in a final, we don't mind. That's that's the that's the one. 
But yeah, I, I don't know. It would be great to see an English team in the Champions League final again. I feel like Man City are probably the favourites to win the Champions League. But do you know what? I want to see a mad final. Like, I want to see uh, Arsenal, Dortmund or something. Like, just something a little bit different would, would be nice. All right, lads, we go again. I'm going to load in a different tactic for this one. So we've got an attacking tactic off the bench. I like the Grogu tactic. It's so good. I'm not going to play this that in this game because we're not familiar with it. But, yeah, as you can see, we've got a lot of work to do on the squad. A lot of work to do on the squad. But, so, we haven't even been in charge for, what, 10 games, 15, not even 15 games. So, yeah, with no transfer window, we'll get there. When does the season finish in Japan? We'll take a look after this game, Liam. We'll take a look after this game. I know in October they get the youth intake, so that's the time to be around to be the to become a new gen uh, in this save as well, as we've mentioned before. Oh, save! Great save from the keeper there. Come on, boys. Let's put that defeat behind us and let's go for it. Higayashi into Masuda. Yuki's he's through on goal. Has he got the pace? Has he got the pace? Oh, he did, but he didn't have to finish. Sunday League finishing, catching up with us again. Sunday League finishing, catching up with us again. Here is Shiba. Shiba into Shitiba. Shibata even, like the bread. No, that's Shiba. Tanaka into Awano. Great play. Koba. Koba, great save from the keeper there, pulling out all the stops. Being a Liverpool fan is quite depressing the last few days. At least City and Arsenal didn't win, though. Yeah, true, man, true. Being a Liverpool fan, yeah, it's tough. That that Man United game was a madness, you know. You could have had them beat in the first half if you took your chances. If, if, if Liverpool took their chances in the first half, they would have won that game. And then it's just a shame from Kelleher, like, out of position, gets beat by a, you know... Because he's a sweeper keeper, he's too far out of his box. And he wasn't far away from saving it, to be fair. But you're always going to concede goals like that if you're too far out of your box. So, yeah, I don't know why goalkeepers do it, to be perfectly honest. Genuinely don't know why they do it. It's a bit of a madness, in my opinion. Come on, the boys. We need to get back to winning ways. Nobe. Kobayashi. Awano. Go on, Awano, lad. Oh, that's a two-footer. Surely, ref. Awano keeps going. Shibata at the back post. Got to score that Tanaka scores. Come on, we're in front. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We're in front for the first time on this stream. Yeah, second half. You guys didn't show up. Genuinely didn't show up. As a as a Liverpool, like, as we're watching that game, you guys, you should have had them beat. Man United were terrible, honestly. In the first half, it should have been 3, 4, possibly even 5 nil to Liverpool. But oh, Thanks for the likes, bro. I appreciate that, man. But yeah, you just fell apart. I don't know what happened. I mean, is the title race over for Liverpool now? I don't think so. But I mean, I don't want to see Arsenal win the title because I'm a Spurs fan. Apart from that, ta two Tsunami scores. 2-0, lads. Come on, let's go. Big goal. Big goal from Tsunami. Gets us back into winning ways. In Bari are 16 points above us. Yeah, yeah. we're not going to we're not going to win the title, but we could go up in all max. Here's Awano. Shiba. It's great play back to the left stick. Oh, we're just catching them and cutting through them like a, like a knife through butter, man. I thought being one up against our rivals and destroying them and them having zero shots would give us the team talk we needed, but it was bad. May, may, maybe, and I'm not saying this is true, but maybe the maybe the lads just thought it was too easy, Josh. May, maybe they thought it was uh, it was too easy. Like, you know, it was just going to go out in the second half and just steamroll them. Five and six. Maybe. I'm not saying that happened because that would mean like the team's complacent, but I don't know. That's what it sort of felt like as I was watching it. It felt like when you were missing those chances, I even said I was I was around my uh, my wife's, uh, my in-law's house. I was like, Man United are going to win this game if Liverpool don't finish these chances. And Salah had so many as well. And you'd expect Salah to score. Like, as, as, a, as a neutral, it was a great game to watch, but I can imagine as a Liverpool fan, it, would, it was a bit of a hard watch, to be honest. But yeah, back to winning ways tomorrow, I would imagine, for Liverpool. Here's Tsunami on the ball. Tsunami, oh, man trying to score some mad goals, you know. They're trying to finish like they're like Erling Haaland, but it's not. It's Japanese third division. <laughs> they're just not, not cutting the biscuit. Tight was on, but after the Villa game, we really don't know really. True. I mean, I would love Klopp to win a European trophy 
and the Premier League. And obviously, you you won the Carabao Cup, right? As well, you won the League Cup. And then treble and dip. Like, then no no one can like argue with like his achievements. At the club. He's won everything. If he wins the Europa League, he's literally won everything that he's been in with Liverpool. So, but he should have more Premier League titles. But the problem, oh, what a save from the keeper. The problem is he's come up against Prime Pep. Like, there's no better manager in Premier League history. Maybe Sir Alex. Maybe. But I still think Pep, probably the best manager the Premier League's ever seen. It's a good discussion point, though. It's a good good discussion point. Go on, Nobe. Nobe keeps going. Go on, Nobes. Japanese Mark Noble, let's go. Awano. Keeps going, Koba, Nobe. Ah, oh, skills. Left back on the ball. Deflected. Mark Noble, Japanese Mark Noble. Wraps up their game. Let's go, boys. 3-0, 47 minutes. Back to winning ways. The high amount chance have stopped. Amarin next season will be great. Yeah, Amarin plays some good football, you know. Like, he's the been he's probably sporting Lisbon's best ever manager. I heard it on a podcast, so it's not me saying that. I don't watch sporting enough, but he plays some unbelievable football. And Jorkerez, what a player he is for sporting. Like, gone from Coventry to there and absolutely tore up trees. Like, abs probably a £100 million player now. Could see him at Man United. Do you know what I mean? He's that sort of player. Or at a big club. Doesn't have to be Man United. Imagine Ignacio and your Jorkerez joined because of that. I mean, your Jorkerez joined uh, Sport in Lisbon because of his love for Amarim, apparently. I've read that, like, I don't know if it's true, but it was on a podcast again. So why not? Liverpool need an out-and-out -out striker, let's be honest. Nunes is good, don't get me wrong, but he's so inconsistent in the Premier League. And your Jorkerez has played, I know he's played championship football, it's not the same. As we put five, come on boys, we might have conceded four in the last game, but we've done five in this game. Let's go, game game set and match, let's put some other players on. At this point, it doesn't really matter who we put on, it's just make sure we don't get too many injuries, is the, is the main thing. Just chuck anyone on, doesn't really matter. There we go, take everyone off, everyone who's useful. Yeah, that's what you saw too, yeah, I think it was the Wonder Kids podcast, or I saw it on a TikTok. Like a clip from their podcast that the uh, the Portuguese guy who does the Wonder Kid stuff, um, him and like they was doing a bit where oh like say something if you hear a better striker than someone else. The tactic is the tactic is quality, lads. The grumble door, honestly, my derby save, my Iris save, this save is is killing it, man. It's killing it. We need some someone else that can bring something different. True, yeah, and your careers can bring that. You know, he's a brilliant player. I mean, I saw him play a lot at Coventry and he was quality for them. And when they sold him, I was a bit like, oh, they're going to struggle. But obviously, they've, they're doing all right this season. Like, not the best, but they're doing actually all right. I just started a new long-term save in the third division of Northern, Northern Ireland. Let's go, Cal Prince, man. Love that. Love that. Liam. <laughs> no, don't do that to us, bro. 6-1 now. 6-1. They ain't coming back. They ain't coming back from six. I mean, if they, if they come back from six, I'll never play football manager again. Your Jorkerez could be a Chelsea player or Ivan Tony. I mean, Chelsea are collecting players like Pokemon. Reading, good to see you, bro. And yeah, 100 million is his release clause, man. I've just seen that. Sorry if, if I missed that. But yeah, 100 million is his release clause. But yeah, 100 million, would you pay it for your Jorkerez? Is there better players out there for 100? Oh, strikers are a commodity these days. I think it should be as Darwin's pressing King Yota, the finisher, than someone else. Yeah, true. True, Yota, I like Yota, you know. He's been a brilliant buyer. When you bought him, I was a bit like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but yeah. I mean, a sporting manager is linked with Liverpool 100%. Yeah, could definitely go. Could could definitely go. Like, could definitely, definitely go to Liverpool. I feel like he will go. I don't think there's anyone else that's going, in, in my opinion. Doesn't I don't see any other options happening. Do you like Football Manager? Obviously. <laughs> it's a silly question, bro. It's a silly question. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I enjoy playing Football Manager. It is the world's greatest game. As we win 6-1, we come back, lads. That's the thing. We don't do back-to-back -back defeats over here on this channel. It just doesn't happen. I'm not saying it doesn't happen because it might happen. We're 16 points behind. The title's gone. But promotion is on. I think Liam wanted us to check when the season finishes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six games left. And it finishes in December. So there's a bit of a break going on. There's a month's break pretty much in November. Must be like a winter break or something or a summer break. Apparently it's basically done that Amarim goes to uh, 
Amarin goes to to sport uh, Liverpool. Mad. Pierce, I'm good, bro, man. How are you? But but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's great. He plays good football. Let's be honest. I don't know. I mean, I don't watch the Portuguese Premier League all the time, and I'm I'm more of a Porto. If I had to pick a team, I'm more of a Porto fan just because I did a football manager save with them years and years ago when they had Hulk, uh, Falcao, uh, though that team. We passed out. We passed our objective, lads. Let's go. What's, what's the semi-final of the J? Is that a Japanese cup? Must be the Japanese cup, I reckon. But yeah, Amarim, quality manager. I meant they are cha they are changing the name next year's football manager because it's a new engine. No, they won't change the name, bro. I don't. I can't see them changing the name of the game. I'm calling it now. Ruben Amarim will foul at Liverpool from Pierce. Well, let's discuss that one. Who thinks Amarim's gonna foul, or who thinks he's gonna shine? We need someone in the club that doesn't waste time on these deals. Yeah, maybe that's down to the recruitment team, though, isn't it? I think that's going to be down to the recruitment team. I think you need to get... I mean, Liverpool's recruitment's been good, though. Can't say it hasn't. Like, you can't say, it like, McAllister, Sabochlai. Who else did you sign this season? You dodged a bullet with Caicedo. I mean, a lot of Liverpool fans were saying you needed Caicedo. I don't think he's been great at Chelsea, to be honest. I don't think he's been the Brighton version of Caicedo. I think you dodged, dodged a good bullet there. Knocked out the Europa League is just perfect example and it ain't even top of the league. Wow. Yeah. I mean, but in that league, there's some there's some good teams in that league though. Porto and Benfica. Benfica are probably the, one of the best teams in the league or the best team in the league, I should say. Yasuki Honda. Great name. Let's have a look next season. There's some good players here. Dave. If we go up, we can get some very, very good players. Okar up front looks decent. Yeah, we'll have a look at the end of the season. Amarim's going to do well from Josh. I think he'll do well. But the thing is, he's in a, he's going to compete in a Premier League where you've got Pep, you've got Arteta, you've got Ange. Chelsea are going to have a new manager. I don't think they're going to keep Pochettino for that much longer. <laughs> Beers is saying, Josh, trust me, bro. He's not going to he's not going to do well. Are we going to do well in this game against Ehim FC? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's the team that we're playing, lads. Let's let's see how we get on against Eheim FC. But yeah, Amarim could do well at Liverpool. Might not. Let's see. Uh, YouTube, Pierce. Uh, I can't say it too often because I'll get banned on TikTok again. But yeah, we're over on the YT channel. Um, that's what we have to call it. This team's unbeaten in five, lads. They're unbeaten in five, playing a decent little 4-4-2. We're playing the asymmetrical version, so the hipster's version of 4-4-2. We've got one defeat in five, which was the last game, which was a sh which was the first game of the stream, I should say, which is a shame. There you can see we're two points above the third place team, so it's literally we're going to have to win all our games to get promoted. I appreciate that, Pierce, bro, man. I appreciate that. Come on, boys. Let's go. Big game. They are fifth in the league. They can't get promoted, but they can affect our promotion race. The team in orange. With no one in their stadium. Oh, it's a great ball. Split. Oh, he's missed an absolute sitter. We've got away with that one. We absolutely 100% have gotten away with that one there. What's the club's nickname? I'll have a look, bro. I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look at what the uh, Fukushima nickname is after the game, bro. It's a good question. Liam coming out with the great questions again like he did yesterday. On form again, lad. Great tackle. In behind. Well covered by Obu there. He saw the danger and did well. Pram Virgil van Dijk defended. We split them in half. Oh, I just couldn't get to the ball. Get away from home. We're not cooking, you know. Away from home, we're getting cooked. Look at that. Inside. Goal. Matsuda. Oh, he's missed again. We've got away with another one, lads. Who's winning the championship this year, in your opinion, from Tom? Ah, oh, good question, Tom, bro. Um... I don't know. I think Ipswich. Ipswich. It should be Leicester. On paper, it should be Leicester, but I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be it's gonna be Ipswich, you know. What do you lads think? Who's going to win the championship? Great save from our keeper again. And another block. It's all going on here. Bodies on the line. We maybe have to be a bit... Let's go cautious. They are coming at us. Let's, let's just try and hit them on the break because... We're soaking up a lot of pressure and they're, they're coming forward well in this game. Matsuda misses again. He's had three opportunities and missed. We're getting away with one, lads. 
We played shocking yesterday, but I hope we do. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, mate. Hopefully, I know a lot, a few Leicester fans as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys can 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 come back in the Premier League. But we'll see. I I, I think you'll definitely get promoted. I think second place or by the playoffs. I think you're definitely coming up. You're too good for the championship. Leeds from Liam is winning the championship. Yeah, they could do. They, I mean, it's Leeds, Leicester, or Ipswich, isn't it? So yeah, I I genuinely think it will be one of them. Come on, Shabbat bread. Come back to a fat fine and a point deduction in the Premier League. I mean, the Premier League is doing everything they can to get rid of Everton. So Leicester could be the team next season. Oh, Tsunami should have scored. I think he was offside, though. Yeah, he was offside. So we'll have to hold that one. Our left back's dead. We're going to have to take him off. Kawanashi comes on. We haven't got another left back. That's the problem. And we're, we're a bit low on defenders, lads. We're a bit low on the old defenders. Yeah, we're probably going to get beat in this game because of that. Matsuda. Great tackle. Nobe pressing well there. Obu into Awano. Gets pressed. It's a lot of pressing going on for Japanese third division, you know. These teams are are looking are looking good. Not going to lie. Nobe picks it up. Poor pass. Tanaka's not going to get there. And it's hoofed forward. This highlight's gone on too long. So whoever gets the shot on goal is definitely scoring. And it could be us if we don't fluff it up here. Tsunami's in. Is he going to score? Tsunami! Waving forward and gets the goal. Tsunami. Let's go, bro. Tsunami with the goal. Big goal from Tsunami. Yeah, we need to take the left back off. He's, he's knackered. Big goal. Big, big goal. Yamaguchi. Great tackle. Great tackle, ref. And there's the first penalty of the stream. First penalty of the stream. Can our goalkeeper save it? He's got one in three saves. From Penos this season. Oh, he went the right way. He just couldn't get there. The 38-year-old legs couldn't take him. And they're straight back in it. Straight back in it. All right, I'm, ju I'm just going to try something at halftime, lads. I'm just going to go attacking. I'm, just, I'm literally just going to go for it. Why not? Let's go for it. They've been all over us. We need to get a foothold in the game. Let's just go a little bit. A little bit more forceful in the game. Let's try and get a foothold in it. Oh, I'm probably gonna, we're probably going to lose now. Oh, straight. Yardo with the goal. Nice move. It was a good goal. Away from home, we're getting cooked, you know. We have to demand more. This could be our second defeat of the season. We could be throwing away promotion here. We could be throwing away the promo. We could be bottling it like Tottenham Hotspur FC. Here is a Wano, Suzu. As long as we can come back, get a point. I'll be happy with that. Just keep keep pace with the other side, I think, is the main thing. I'm going to continue my Palace save. Good luck, bro. How many seasons have you done with Palace? Yuki? Come on, Yuki. Yeah, finished, finished from Luke. Yuki, bottom corner, 2-2. Two, two. Come on, the boys. This is our time now. This is our time to come back in it. Just won the championship. Let's go, bro. That's quality, man. What team did you win it with? And thanks for the likes, Tom, as well. Yuki. Tsunami. Hiroka. They're playing well out of the back. This team is a very well-organized side, you know. They're a good team. Like, football in Japan is a lot is a lot better than I expected. I didn't expect like it to be this hard. Here is Mortegi. It's great play. Can they go 3-2 up? I think they are. Back post header goal. <sighs> Over the bar. Must be. Oldham, nice, bro. Oh, what team am I from, Sleeper? Uh, we are Fukushima in the J League Three. Um, it's uh, it's a journeyman save, hence why, hence why we're playing in the J League Three. I did see what tactic do you use? I I use the Grumble Door tactic mainly, and we're using the Grogu in this second half to try and get some points. And we we've done well there, three two. Let's go, boys. Only just started it, haven't. Haven't played it in two or three days, so it's going to take three points to beat C in Lil and Friendly's. Nice, bro. Good luck with it. Uh, have you made any signings yet, or do you, uh, like me, turn that off um, when you're playing? Uh, Uchita's got to come on. It's just the legs, really. Oh, everyone's playing well. Tanaka can come off. He's tired. Jeez. Got no squad depth for these tactics. Yeah, Jimmy, thanks for the comment, bro. We uh, oh, we got an injured player. Of course, of course, our only left midfield player is now injured. Excellent stuff. Um, the injuries on this are just racking up, lads. So many injuries. But yeah, they're, they're all on my channel. 
What's your favorite tactic this year? Uh, my favorite tactic this year is um, is the Grumbledore tactic that uh, one of the guys, the followers, sent in. Um, it's an absolute quality tactic, honestly. 424 tactic won me back to back trebles, man. Yeah, it's quality. 424 this year is overpowered, especially an asymmetrical 424. Started a journeyman in Norway, bro. That is tough. Norway is nuts. This isn't going to be believable, but I won the treble with Rangers in the first season. Hey, fair play, man. If you did, you did. That, that's a quality achievement. I'm not going to lie, mate. That is an absolute quality achievement. 3 2, lads. The, the attacking tactic paid off in the second half. We came back for a win. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We're keeping our promotion hopes alive, man. We're keeping the promotion hopes alive. Big injury, though. Two weeks. Damaged elbow. Tight calves. Everything is going on, lads. Everything is going. And we play Yokohama, a team we turned down. A team we turned down. Not yet. I've been trying to find a good player to sell. I'm looking to sell Anderson, but I'm trying to get the installment slightly and get more up front. No, that makes sense, bro. That does make a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Anderson's a good player, but there's better centre-backs out there you can get, especially for the money you would get for Anderson. But yeah, th those are my favourite tactics. Asymmetrical this year. Since they've done that tactical update, asymmetrical all day long. All day, every day, asymmetrical tactics. Can't go wrong with them, lads. Do you play Zelda? I have played Zelda in the past, mate. I used to play Ocarina of Time back on the Nintendo 64, showing my age. Um, but yeah, I, I don't play it much now. Uh, I got the first one that was on the Switch and just didn't enjoy it. Just I don't have time for those big open world games anymore. I think that's what it is. I, I like a linear story type game now. Um, or a two-player game, something like that. Do you know what I mean? Something you can just jump in, jump out. Nickname, yes, mate. I've got a memory like a fish. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Let's see. Rivalries, fierce rivals, professional status, nickname. There is no nickname, lads. Pierce, good to see you, bro, man. How you been? And thanks for coming over as well, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, there's no nickname for the football club. No nickname. Sorry about that, Liam, bro. Just there isn't one. I'm doing well today, man. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, bro. I hope you're doing well too. I hope you're doing well too as well. Yokohama, let's go. A team we turned down. Are they going to cost us our promotion run? We we got offered the job. We said no. And we went to Fukushima instead. Is this going to come back to buy us? Looks a good player for next season, you know. He looks an absolute quality player for next season. We'll build our squad next season depending on what league we're in. It's going to make a big difference. We'll see who, like, the big, the big clubs in Japan release, that sort of thing. We'll take the sort of same approach I would take in England, but in Japan. I thought Journeyman was top five big leagues, the UA, UA. No, bro. No, Journeyman is, you can start in any league you want. It's no badges, uh, no playing experience, like Sunday league playing experience. And you can start a Journeyman wherever you want, bro. I think you might be thinking of the, um, what's the one, the Glory Hunter, where you have to win all the, all the stuff. I think that's the one you're thinking of, bro. Five games left. 14 points behind. We can't win the title. We'd have to lose every game. We'd have to win every game. Two points in front of Kit as well. It's going to be close, lads. It's going to be close. Shabby Alonso tactic is insane. Josh Daly's uh, tactic is insane. Beating Leipzig 7 in the first game of the season. Well, I have to check that out, you know. Josh is a great guy as well, man. Josh Josh is a great guy. Makes some great tactics. He's, he's helped me all the way down the years before I started making content. And I use his tactics, I think, last year. I haven't used one this year. So maybe I'll try the Shabby Alonso tactic at some point. I've heard it's good. I have heard it's good. It does look good. But what are you guys saying about tonight's games? Who are we saying? Barcelona to win? Atletico or Dortmund to win? I'm going Dortmund and Barca to win. I'm going Dortmund, Barca. I'm doing a 28 year English shave with eggs and sausage. <laughs> Bro, that can't be a team on the game, surely. Unless you're eating something at the same time as playing which is fair play man which is fair play eating breakfast whilst playing football manager can't go wrong cannot go wrong let's go boys we have got yokohama a team we turned down can they do anything to our team they are fighting for relegation they're in great form as well they've got four two three one formation one of my old goat tactics Main focus is a right winger, so I can take Edward off the left and start him up front. 
Mateta to the bench and Ayu on the left by someone for the right side. And Rooney Bargy, man. Rooney Bargy is the obvious option, I think, for the right-hand side of player. But, guys, let Josh know who you recommend. The AMRs. <laughs> Pedo. Oh, no, he nearly got me. Nearly got me, Sausage. Nearly. It was a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one, bro. Uh, yeah. Come on, Homes Army. Let's get a W. Let's go, boys. Come on. We need to get a W in this game. It's almost like a derby game, to be honest. Here is Koba. Koba finds Yuki. Yuki's done well for us, you know. Squad goals. It's been quality. Mark Noble in the midfield as well. Japanese nobs. Tsunami is a wave up front. Awano. Great play to the left back. Whips one in. Yuki! What a save! Onto the bar as well. The goalkeeper pulls out an absolute mad save there. That was a great save. Looking at Whitaker and Magno. Yeah, Tales Magno, great player. Great player. I normally play him on the left, but Tales Magno, is he can play on the right, he can play up front. Brilliant player, if that's the one you're thinking of. Yeah, Illing's another good player as well, but he's going to be spenny. It's going to be very expensive, but Tales Magno, what a shout. Great shout, Tales Magno's quality. Awano, go on Mark Noble. Noble, great save from the keeper there. Noble should have done better. Should have done better. Bro, I can't say that. Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> Tsunami, here we go. Awano, Koba. Yuki, brilliant movement, but he's offside. I think he's offside. Yeah, I just see the Lino move. He is offside. It's great movement, though. Great movement from the lads. Flicking that ball around nicely. Can we get a goal from a corner? I don't think we've had one yet. Yuki, over the bar. This guy's missing chances. Yeah, yeah, Talis Magno. That's the dude, bro. That's the dude, I'm telling you. Tally Magno, what a player. We need to put a goal in the back of the net at some point because we could end up like Liverpool against Man United and lose this game. Bro, told you, don't take your chances. You get hit on the break and Taba scores for them and it's, it's poor from the lads. We're letting this promotion slip go, lads. We're really letting it go. There's only four games left as well. Here's Obu. I'm leaning towards Whitaker because I've never had him before. I love that. I love having players you've never had before. Go for it. Why not? See what he's like. I mean, it does get a bit samey-samey if you buy the same players all the time. So yeah, go for it, bro. Oh, Tsunami hits the post. You might have to change to the Grogu for the second half again, you know. You might have to go a little bit more attacking. Especially if, like, away from home, we're just not... We're not cutting the mustard. Gonna do a Scumfort save, but not good at lower leagues. Any tips? Bro, I've got a whole... I think I've got about four videos on how to manage in the lower leagues on my channel, on this channel. Um, yeah. I would, I would take a look at them. How to build a club, uh, how to get promoted with an EFL, any EFL club, how to make any non-league save. I think I've got videos like that. They're really, they're really good. It gives you all the tips that I do. Um, so yeah, check those out in the tips and tricks uh, playlist. Have you ever noticed the overhead, overhead kick in your game? Yeah, I've noticed a few. I've never scored one. Um, we've had a few. We had one on the stream, actually, just, I think, in the last game. I missed it, but, yeah, they never go in, to be honest. Like, I've never seen them go in. Hanufasa. Obu's there. Tsunami. Go on, no. Straight through the middle. He's open. Look at him. Oh, he just, he's offside. He's about five yards offside. Second goal offside. This FM, I've noticed there's a lot of overhead kicks, but never scored one. Yeah, I mean, I've noticed a few, but I've never scored one as well. Never really scored an overhead kick. Lads, we're going to have to go for it again. We're just going to have to go for it. Who are we going to put left? Yuki can stay. Yeah, Tsunami can come off and we'll put this lad to the left. Come on, boys. We need something in this game. We've got to demand more. We can't keep going behind in games. Can't keep doing it. 17 shots, no goals. And one down against the bottom of the league side. And they've scored twice. And it's Arroyo with the second goal. Personally, I feel like you have to use Gengen Press or Tiki Tac to have any. Yeah, you're right, bro. It is true. You can't play 4 4 2 like Brexit football on Football Manager. It just doesn't work. It genuinely doesn't work. You, just, you can't do it. I don't even know who Luke Bennett is, mate, to be honest. I've uh, never heard of him. Is he one of those, like, uh, is he the ginger... Gi no, no, that's not him. I've never heard of him, mate, to be honest. I'll do some research after, but 
Yeah, I've ne never heard of him. Here's Nobe. Go on, Nobe. Nagano. Go on, lad. Keep going. Oh, great tackle. They're defending for their lives in this game. Is it just me that hates me using custom play style? I feel like it's just stand there and let your opposition play around you. True. Oh, what a banger from Sheba. What a goal. That's what we need, lads. Get us back in the game. An absolute screamer of a weldy to get us back into the game. Come on, the boys now. That should give us the launch pad to get back into this game. We've had nine shots on target. Didn't put them away. It's costing us. It's absolutely costing us. This lack in finishing. Next season, we need a, a big striker. Saita. Here's Koba. Awano, Nobe. Shiba again on the ball. Nagano. Oh, Yuki again offside. He's had three chances and been offside three times. This guy needs to learn how to play onside, bro. Mori's going to come on for Saita. Let's go. Expected to win this game, boys. Let's go. We need three points. Still plenty of time in this game. Still 15 minutes left. More. Probably 20 minutes left if you can't count next time. Shiba. <sighs> unlucky again. It's unlucky again. Did you say your name in regens by us? Yes, bro. If you're over on the YT channel and the uh, the thing comes through, the uh, the new youth thing, then yeah, you can come and come and grab a new gen in the safe. 100%. 100% that's possible. Which I think is a great idea because at this lower league level, you guys are going to get a lot of play time, I would imagine. Or the good ones are going to get on the bench, if that makes sense. Like, I'll try and play you guys as much as I can. Go on, Maury. Maury with the equalizer. 83rd minute. Let's go. We deserve more, but we're point. We will take at this point. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. One more goal. Let's finish them off. Let's get back into Let's get that point points going three points let's make it five points and we'll be safe last kick of the game lads what are we saying last kick of the game are we gonna oh no 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 the worst possible thing is gonna happen great tackle well done kawashi obu omori mark noble japanese version mori go on mori lad nagano what can he do nagano nagano over the bar What's your PC specs? I've got a gaming laptop, mate. It's a few years old. Um, I had it about, I think, three years now, maybe coming on to four. Um, how long ago was COVID? Four years ago. So, yeah, I've had it four years. It's fairly good. It, I'll probably need a new one at some point. Oh, no, go away. Uh, not you, mate. There, there was a notification on my PC. Um, yeah, I'll probably need a new one in the next couple of years. But it, it's it, for FM, it, it just runs everything. So, yeah, it's, it's fairly good like that. Ah, oh, lads, couldn't get the couldn't get the dub, but we do get the points. We do get a point, which is at one stage was not looking good, really. Let's be honest, it wasn't looking good, but we're there. We we're there. We've got a, how many games are left, lads? We're gonna finish this season one hundred percent. Got four games left, lads. Twelve points available. We need to get some. We need three wins, I reckon. Three wins, lads. Three wins. What do you reckon? Can we do it? Can we get promoted in our first season? We can't win the league title. Do you need a good PC to run every player in the game? It's 400k, by the way. 400k players. Uh, yeah, you're going to need a solid one for that. If your database size is that big, mate, you're going to need a very, very good PC. But do you need every single player in the game? I don't think you do, to be honest. Like, you can add and remove leagues when you want. Like it depends. Depends what you kind of you want to do in the game, doesn't it? But yeah, we've got Azul Claro. That doesn't sound like a Japanese club, you know. That sounds like some Mexican migrants have made a club in in Japan. I have to. I want to check them out, you know, afterwards. Right, that's what we're we saying for this game. It's a home game. We need the points. Can we get a win? Can we put six or seven past them? What what are we saying? lot of injuries in the club as well, which doesn't help. 100k is enough players. Yeah, Liam, I would agree as well. 100k is a lot of players. Like, thinking about it, you can only have 25 in your squad. Like, do you need 100k players? Like, how many how many wonder kids are you, are you trying to get into your team? Are you trying to collect them like Pokemon cards? I don't know. 100k players is definitely enough, mate. Definitely 100% enough. Watanabe with the clearance. And it's a Wano Obu. Yamoto in goal. Suzu. 
you know what? I think next away game, I'm just going to play attacking. I think we just give we give it a chance. Like, I don't think it's going to matter too much in the grand scheme of things. Koba, great tackle. Go on, Awano. Shiba. Oh, yeah, I think he's offside again, isn't he? No, no, bay. Japanese Mark Noble scores. Let's go. 4-2 to you from Liam. Let's go, lads. Let's go. 4-2. We'll take that. We'll take that all day, every day. Shibata. Sounds like a bread, you know. No, that's Chibata. I said that yesterday. Here's Shiba. Awano. Obu. Go on, lad. Go on. Koba. Kobayashi. And it's in from Nobe. Japanese Mark Noble scores again. 2-0. I think at home, the Grumble Door tactic is the one. And I think away from home, we'll go a little bit, catch them out of surprise. Just go attack it and see what happens. In this division, anyway, next season's a little bit different. We're going to have to try and stay up. That's going to be that's going to be the struggle there. Saita. Tsunami. Oh, it's a good save. It's a good save from the keeper there. 4-2. We'll take that. I'll take that now, mate. I'll 100% take that now. 5-1 from Josh. Let's go, mate. Big faith. Big faith there. 5-1. How many places better you and third? Okay, bro. Let's have a look. I think we are five points. If I remember rightly, I think it's five points. Five points. I'm pretty sure. It's, yeah, six at the moment if we win and they've got a game in hand. So they'll take it down to three. Three. Three points, mate. Three points if they win their game in hand. Which is, you know, one win. So, yeah, we, we still going to need those three wins out of the last four games. Which this is one of them. The way we're playing, then they're, they're doing nothing in this game. So the way that we're playing, we should we should definitely do this. But injuries are mounting up. Injuries are mounting up, which is not what we want to see. Let's go, boys. Come on. Koba. Finished them off before half time. Yuki misses. Kobayashi. What a finish. Kobayashi with the goal. What a player. Brilliant. What a finish. Three nil. Let's go, boys. Come on. This promotion's in hand now. Can we get four? It could be 4-2 or it could be 5-1 at this rate. We don't know. We'll see. A man of culture. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Donna, it's good to see you, bro. Here is Awano. Shatiba. Oh, tried the volley. Managing Fukushima in the J League 3, bro. We're doing a uh, journeyman save over on uh, YT channel. We are... Yeah, we've got three games in the season left. We're second place. We took over when they was third. Uh, they're supposed to be finishing mid-season. Are you a happy man who has a little bit of a person who is a good thing? I don't understand the question, Redding, bro. bro it's, a, it's a weird one, but am I happy? 100%. I would like to think so, uh, if you're asking me that question. Big Boom's going for a 5-3 win. He wants more goals in the game. Wants more goals in the game. Bro, let's hope it don't come back 3-3, free, free, then we have to win 5-3. I mean, I'll take the 5-3, but not, not in them circumstances, if that makes sense. Let's make some subs. Just bring some players on. Here is Brown. But yeah, three points is three points at the end of the day. Yeah, we'll take him off because we can't have our left back banned. <laughs> because we won't have our left back. That would be difficult. I don't think we've got to play the third place team either, so... There's not going to be like a big, a big drama, big drama game. I think we're just going to trundle on, get the wins we need, hopefully, and then get promoted to J League 2, which will, will look good on our CV and then boost up our reputation. Yuki, first goal direct from a corner goes to Yuki, and it's 4 0. So Liam was right with the four, he just didn't get the two. 4 0. Good result. Beating, beating a decent side as well. And it didn't offer anything to be honest, but 4 0 is 4 0. We'll take that six day injury. We'll have that as well. This guy's a decent, decent right back. You know, he's supposed to be playing right wing, but he's playing right back. Are Bromley still doing their FM thing? Yes, they are, bro. They've got a documentary uh, on, I think it's TNT Sports, whatever, whatever was BT Sport. They've, they've got a, um, they've got a documentary on, on there. So 
yeah, check it out. I don't know if it's out yet, though. I don't know when the first episode is, but yeah, they, they are doing it, and it, I think it's fully filmed. They, I think, are nearly getting promoted in the National League, if I can remember rightly. Um, but yeah, the, the, the guy who won it, he won it. Uh, he's been at the football club. I don't know much about it. They haven't haven't seen much about it either. I don't follow Bromley. Um, but yeah, they're still doing their thing, man. They're still doing their thing. All right, let's just check out the table quick. They didn't win their game in hand, lads, so we're a five-point buffer. We've got some some offers for a player who doesn't play, so let's let's see what that's about. Yeah, you lads can take him. He's he's not very good. Get him off the wage. Free up some wage, lads, for a signing next season. Got to free up the free up the wage for the for the Japanese J League third division. <laughs> it's never managed in this division as well. But yeah, I mean it'd be interesting. If you guys know when that uh, TNT documentary is coming out about Bromley, I'll give it a watch because it'll be interesting to see how he does. And I hope I hope the guy who wins it isn't just a PR thing. I have nine hundred thirty-seven hours on the game, and only good thing I've won is the Premier League once. Depends what saves you're doing, bro. There's nothing wrong with not winning the Premier League. Like, I don't tend to win the Premier League every year on Football Manager because I don't manage in England. Um, but yeah, it depends. Depends on what um what what kind of saves you're doing. Like, I I dread doing English saves. Should we give Yuki a new contract? We probably should give him a new deal, you know, but 1k a week is madness. He's got 16 goals in 147 games. There'd be better strikers out there. I'm guaranteeing there's going to be some better players when we go up next season. I don't know much about Japanese football, but Kobayashi's going to retire from football. Oh, man, he's quality and he's retiring. Brev, see if we can convince him not to retire. I think he's I think he's, I think he's already decided. We can't. Hmm. It's a shame. We're going to have to replace a lot of our players next season. There's going to be a lot of players in, a lot of out. I'm about to play against Forrest at home. Good luck, bro, man. Let us know how you get on in that game. Should really be beating Forest. No interest in signing new contracts. Wow, okay, right. It really is going to be a whole squad in, a whole squad out in the uh, in the transfer window for us at Fukushima for next season. We're going to have to get in a load of players. How tall are seven? Do you mean how tall, are, how, how tall I am? That's a strange question to ask. Six foot seven? I think Josh is in the first year of the of the save, bro. I think he's in the first year of the save. So yeah, Palace is always a good save to do, you know. It's a good good save. Like, it's a good save. I did one years ago when they when Zaha was a wonder kid back in the that's how long ago it was. Having Zaha as a wonder kid. Um yeah, showing my age there, but nice. Palace is a good one. They got a good academy as well. Like Eze. Eze will be quality for you as well. Gwe, uh, Mark Gwe as well. Elise, what a player he is. England should try and get him to play for them. I know he wants to play for France, but I, I can see Elise like, doing really well in his career. Like, I can see him at like, an Arsenal. Like Elise at Arsenal. If they didn't have Saka, Elise would, would be at Arsenal, I think. That's that's a bold shout. But even, you know what? Elise at Liverpool. Would you take Elise at Liverpool, Josh? I mean, I'd take, if, I'd take Elise at Tottenham. Over Kulusevski any day. Like Kulu is a good player, but he's not. He's not that great, in my opinion. Crucial in our promotion battle against Nara. Now, lads, do we play the balance tactic, or do we just go all out? Or do we go attacking against them? Do we throw something a little bit unexpected at them? What are we saying? What do you reckon? Stick with the balance or go for the attacking. The attacking away from home has actually done better for us last few away games. But what are, what are we saying? I would take him, yes, but I'd rather someone else. True. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's fair. I mean, he's not proven himself at elite level, is he? Let's be honest. And Liverpool are an elite club. So, I mean, Chelsea, would, would, would Chelsea take him? I hate Kulu, not a Spurs fan, but I think he's overrated. Yeah, I think he's overrated as well. He just, you know what? He does everything okay. He's one of those players. He he's he's got nothing exceptional, but he does things okay. If that means like he's average at everything. Like every pace is average, finishing is average, skills are average. Like he's just three star across the board. Every attribute is three star, and that's how he's good. 
but he's just not, I don't know, he just doesn't do it for Tottenham. I'd love Eze at Chelsea from Cal. 100% man, Eze is a baller. He's, he's probably one of the last street ballers, if that makes sense. Like, he's got those, like, cage skills. I'm visiting family in the Isle of Man and thinking of visiting the football club. Go for it, bro. Go for it. It's flooded. The actual Isle of Man ground is flooded at the moment. Um, so I don't know if, if they're going to be playing whilst you're there. But, yeah, go and visit them. It's in Douglas. Um, yeah, I think it's flooded. I saw a post today that the Isle of Man football grounds... I haven't been... I've been to the Isle of Man a lot, but I've never, I've never been to the, watch them play. They've never played whilst I've been there. I'm sure they will at some point, and and I will get to watch them. But yeah, go go do it, man. It's always good. If if you're in the Isle of Man, make sure you go to uh, Port Erin, and there's a pub on the beach. It does the best fried chicken. It does the best fried chicken. Go go and uh, go and try it out. It's Ben and KFC, hundred percent. We've got Madawaki on the right. Oh, you think Madawaki over 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 Elise? Madawaki over Elise is bold, you know. It's bold. One nil up. Mateta goal. Let's go, Josh, man. Great start. Right, come on, the boys, man. Six points. Three games to go. Well, two for us after this. So we need two wins. Two wins, lads. That's all we need. Two wins to get promoted. Just two big wins. It's not much. We're not asking for much. Just two wins. <laughs> Oh, we've been robbed there. Oh, don't, I thought he was going to miss that header. I was like, this is non-league Japanese football. He's definitely missing that header. It's a Wano Obu. Go on, Obu, lad. A Wano. Great tackle from Gustafsson. Where I live, you can get the ferry to the Isle of Man. I don't know. I don't think the Isle of Man was at Isle of Wight. Isle of Man's in between like Liverpool and Ireland, if that makes sense. About four days ago, I made three tactics for a save. It's a mix of Gengen press tickets I could do well. Nice, Josh. Oh, we scored. I missed that. I was, I was too busy reading the comments, lads. Sorry about that. One thing I'd like in FM25 is real chance and real stadium sponsor. Oh, 100%. They need to put some real chance in. That would be quality. If they could do that, that would that would change the game. I'm not going to lie. That would change the game. Seven points clear, lads. Promotion could be done today. We could get the promo with the Japanese side for the first time. Madawaki over Alicia. I don't know what people see in him, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, let's let's discuss that one in the comments. I like Elise. He's a good player, but is Madawaki better? Uh, to be honest, I haven't watched a lot of Madawaki. I have to say, I've watched a little bit of him at PSV, but I haven't seen much of him at Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea. Um, to be perfectly honest, I, I don't watch much much Chelsea ball. Also going to use the Grumbledore tactic, my Queen's University save in Northern Ireland. Go for it, bro. Honestly, we haven't. I haven't tested it out in Northern Ireland. It's doing really well in Asia. It's done well in Greece. It's smashing it on my derby save. So I think it would do well out in Northern Ireland. But do let me know, bro. Do let me know how you get on with it. Great goal from Tanaka. 2-0. Tanaka absolutely inspired by Yuki there. Big goal. Big goal. 2-0. In the promotion race. And who, who are the other team playing? Who are Kit playing? Are they playing today? They're drawing 0-0 at home. They need a win. Edward finishes it 2-0 from the pen spot. Let's go, bro. It's looking like it could be a good save, you know. Looking like it could be a good save for you. Let's put uh, Mark Noble off. All right, Yuki can come off as well. I think the game's done, to be honest. I think the game's done. I'm being confident here, lads. I think the game is done. I watched the Chelsea versus Sheffield game the other day. Fell asleep. Both played boring. Football both deserve to be where they are on the table. <sighs> Sheffield United are a terrible Premier League side. They are one of the worst Premier League sides I think I've ever seen. Burnley are terrible as well. Everyone said Luton was going to be bad, but they've actually come up and tried. At least they've come up and tried. Like, they've given it a go. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've actually tried. But, yeah. I mean, here we are. I do like Elise. Don't get me wrong, but Eze is loads better. Oh, yeah, I'd agree with that, Cal. 100%. Eze is 10 times better than Elise. And he plays for England now as well, which is good. But in that 10 position for England, like you've got Foden. He's, he has to play in the summer. If he doesn't play in the summer, we're getting knocked out in the group stage. I'm telling you. Like, we ain't going far. It's like a prime Barcelona and prime Liverpool Gengen press mix. Let's go, bro. Love that, Josh. That's quality. Bringing Barcelona and Liverpool ball to Crystal Palace. South London's going to be buzzing. I think that's the promotion, lads. It tastes like promotion. Best ever J-League finish in our first season. Let's go. Best ever finish, lads. Board have set the initial budgets. Um, Let's... 
can you read and can I read? Because that says 2.7 million pounds for J League 2. You don't even get that in the championship. How have we got 2.7 million pounds to spend? And the assistant manager is getting... No, that... What? We got... How, do... He didn't lead them to promotion, although I can't speak Japanese. He didn't lead them to promotion. He didn't come up with the tactics, and he's getting all the fame. No, that's out of order. Fukushima, we've won promotion, and it's been marred by the assistant manager claiming up all the glory. He's out here claiming the glory. What? Am I being out of order here? Am, am I being, like, just negative? Do you, do you think Rochdale know a 4 3 3 vertical tiki taka? I don't think they do, bro. I don't. I genuinely don't think they do. How is the. How is the. The assistant manager is claiming that he's won the. He's won promotion. No, that's. That's. That's just not on. Let him do the job then. We'll move somewhere else. Let him do the job if he thinks he's that good. But I can't believe the transfer budget, lads. 2.7 million. Yes, we're going to need a lot of players next season. But 2.7 million is. It, Bro, that's mad. Sack the assistant. You're not wrong. I might actually do that. You know, I'm not going to lie. I might actually do that. But 2.7 million. We can buy some brilliant players with that money. I can tell you that, lads. 2.7 mil. We're mainly going to get a lot of players on a free. So, wow. Yeah, see, look, we've got the transfer budget. He looks a good boy. J League free player. We'll wait till we get to J League 2. See who we can bring in. Because there's no point in bringing in players now. They might not be good in the next division. They might just be a bit a bit mid in it. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Hopefully we get a couple of good new gents for as well. We've had three shots in the first half. Three goals clinical. Mateta two. And an Edouard penalty. Mateta. Go on Mateta. What a lad. Scoring goals. Can never get that guy to score goals for me ever. Like never. He never scores goals for me. Like he, he always underperforms. I don't know why. He just, he just does. It's, it's weird to say. It's a weird thing to say, but he just doesn't doesn't do it for me. Maybe it's one of those things. And maybe, maybe it's one of those things. Who knows? But yeah, we'll have to bring in some players in the summer. Getting promoted. Hopefully, oh, let's, let's check on the board to see if they're going to give us our coaching badge. Because we did ask for it. And yet they still haven't really done it for us. So I think it's a bit mean, to be honest. Let's have a look at my profile. Start a coaching course. Come on, man. Let me start the coaching course. We just got promoted. Allow it. Let, let me get a badge. We'll stay at the football club if you give me a badge. Yes, we're starting our first badge, lads. Come on, National C license. Let's go. First badge. Let's go, boys. First badge is getting done. I feel like we're going to a Pokemon gym here, but... Yeah, first badge is getting in the bag after promotion. They couldn't say no to us, could they, really? Let's be honest. 64th minute, just casually subbed on five players. Hey, why not? Why not? Why not? Can't go wrong. Oh, we just lost our left back for three weeks. Oh, balls. Do we actually have any ones in the dev center that can play left back? About this chap. No, he plays center back. Come on, you play center back. All right, let's have a look at the reserve squad. Any, any left backs in here? No. Any left backs in the under 18s? We don't even have anyone in the under 18s. Okay, so no, no left back for the next game. <laughs> it's gonna be good job. We don't need the three points because we've got no one that can play left back. <laughs> oh, so our 36 year old left back got injured, didn't he? Um, Takuki Namura. We don't really play a right winger, so that's fine. That will do. That will do. Mm -hmm. Kento Awano wants a new contract. He wants a new, an actual new contract. Is he any good though? He is, he's actually all right. £300 a week. All right, let's discuss the new contract with Awano. Uh, we'll dedicate more to it at the end of the season because we might have better players and we might just sell him. But we can't, we can't have a whole new team because that will mess up the team cohesion. But I think that's what it's looking like, to be honest. Getting some good, good. Probably get a mix of. What do you guys reckon? A mix of um, a mix of youth and experience, or do we go experience to try and stay up? I feel like a mix would be good. 
at least you got promoted. How many games you got left? I think there's only two games left, mate, in the season. If I'm, I'm pretty sure there's only two games left in the season. Yeah, we've got a home game against Matsusumo and an away game against Kogo, Kogoshima. So two games left. We've got six points up for grabs. We can't win the title. That's done. But we can finish the season in style. Full-time solid win at Selhurst Park. Let's go, Josh, man. Let's go. Quality, lads. And lads, if you're not in the Discord already, do join the Discord. That's where the stream schedule is. That's where all of like the you'll get to see all the content first. We have great discussions around uh, football, yeah, video games, anything really. WWE, whatever you're into, it, we've got it. We've got everything, and it's a nice, it's a nice bunch of uh, people in there as well. Like some real nice people. So like got solid advice for football manager. Obviously, probably goes without saying to be honest, but. Yeah, if you're not in there, make sure you join the Discord. The link is in the YouTube bio. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's in there if you want to join. And if you want me to rate your saves, tactics, send them in to me. I, well, that's my like favorite thing I like doing at YouTube at the moment. Even saving your saves. Got a video coming out tomorrow. Save your save. Uh, very inspired by Zealand. Um, yeah, for Goran who was on the stream yesterday, wants me to try and help him with his partisan save progress in Europe. So got that coming out tomorrow. To help him with that and if, if you want to be part of that hey I'm, I'm that's what i'm here for but can we get the three points in this game and hopefully finish the season on a high and go into the j league two with full of confidence i mean the aim for next season what do you reckon the aim should be just to stay up lads i reckon it's just to stay up stay up and get another badge another coaching badge i reckon here is miki koba yashi oh hits the post Here is Tanaka. Uh, he's, he's nearly scored. Come on, boys. It's not, we've just got to keep the form going. How does a save a save work? Yeah, good question, Liam. It's basically, if you guys are struggling on one of your saves, send it in and I'll take a look at like all of the stuff that you're doing on your save. So your tactics, your staff, the transfers, identify your weak areas, uh, and then basically give you loads of tips on how to progress it forward. And you can take the tips or leave them. Uh, it's completely up to you, but it, it's all the stuff that I would do in a save like that and how you can progress it and make you better. Uh, Big Boom, let me just get the link for you and let me chuck it in the chat. Hang on. If someone can do that, if not, I will see if I can do it uh, from here. But let me just let me just get the link to invite you in, bro. It's not working at the moment. Here we go. Give me a second. I will chuck the link in the chat if I can. All right, let's go here. Let me get you the invite link. Give me one second. I'll just pop it in the chat here. Here you go, bro. And if anyone else wants to join, the link should be in the should be in the chat right now. But yeah, it's, it's a great it's a great community. I know I promoted it a lot, but. It's a good good set of guys, man. It's a good set of guys. We're going to get this dub, lads. We're going to get this dub. We could finish the season on 77 points, which is fairly decent from where we took over, to be honest. Only losing the the one game as well in charge is, is no mean feat. You know, that's a that's a great start to our managerial career. Yuki. No bay. Finish. Last home game of the season. What a finish. Let's go. Big, big dub there from the Japanese Mark Noble. But I think the game I'm going to watch tonight. Oh, Legend, Big Boom. I appreciate that, bro, man. And, what, and welcome, to the, welcome to the Discord as well. Also, if you guys don't know, we are doing a giveaway at 2K YouTube subs. We're a little bit uh, away from doing that, but as soon as we're there... We're going to give away FM24. So, yeah, if you've got friends that love Football Manager, point them in my direction. All you have to do is sub, and then once we hit the number, I'll spin I'll spin the wheel, see who wins. Here is Suzu. Into no bay. Yuki, 4. Is it 3-0? 4-0? One of the goals was offside, so it's 3-0. 3-0. Not bad. Not bad at all, lads. 3-0. Can't go wrong in this game. 
cannot go wrong. Oh, great pass. Good goal. Absolutely sliced through us like a knife through butter there. Brilliant goal from them. Gets them back into the game just before half time as well, which is not what we wanted. Not that we need the points. Yuki's got a hat trick. I mean, he's looking for a new contract here, isn't he? Yuki. Alright, do we keep him? Do we think he can do it at J League 2 level? That's the thing. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Wait and see when the window opens, see who we can get in. Got plenty of wage budget, plenty of transfer budget. We're going big next season. We're going big. I mean, to stay up. I don't think promotion will be on the cards. I genuinely don't think that's possible, but that would be insane if we did. Imagine we did back-to-back -back promotions in our, in, in our first two seasons in Japan. It would be insane. Absolutely insane. Shimakawama. Oh, Yuki's there with a header. They are coming after us a little bit in this game, and they're back in it. 3-2. We could bowl this now. Watanabe with the near post finish. It was a good half, but it, it's, it's looking a bit downhill now. Gonna tell the lads to focus. It never works. Right, Tanaka's gonna come off. Gonna put Mori on. I'm gonna put Tsunami on. I'm gonna put Amori on as well. Let's go. Bang. Make the difference, lads. Non negotiable 30 million up front for Anderson. I'd take that, mate. I'd take 30 million. You can get better centre back a replacement in for less than that. Like in FIFA, how can you send scouts to different nations to sign players free? You reckon that'd be good in the National League? Mm, the problem is in the National League, mate, is, is the work permit situation. If you was in a different league, like a European league, like that you can have as, you know, say five foreign players, it, that would be great. But in the National League, getting work permits for them is going to be an absolute nightmare. So I would stick with, with players, especially in the National League, where who have been released by the bigger clubs. So like they might have been released by Liverpool's, your Chelsea's, your City's. They're, they're the players that I would go for if you're in that situation. Because if you go to, say, South African third division and you try and get uh, someone, they're not going to get a work permit to play. So, yeah, it's a shame, but uh, there we are. But yeah, definitely stick to players that have been released in like, England, Scotland, those sort of like UK nations. And you don't need work permits or anything like that. Wasn't they going to remove work permits for FM24? They was going to, but they haven't. It's still in there. You still need them. You can get these things. I think they're called in the championship with Derby. I had these ESC work permits where you could assign four per season. I don't know if that works in the National League. It, it might not, um, but it might. Um, so, yeah, try it out. But then again, you've got to, it, it's going to be hard to attract those players in the National League from, from different countries as well. Uh, I think, in my opinion, it might be a bit difficult. Last game of the season, lads. Let's go. We've got Kogashima United. We're already up. It doesn't matter. It's a third versus second battle. Let the battle commence. I feel like we can end the season on a high. There's been no, no youth players come through. Let's have a look when these youth players come through because it did say in October... Every year in October, there's a match to organise. But we didn't get any of them in October. Maybe it's the 2nd October. Well, that's a shame because I wanted to give you guys a, a new gen player, which is not going to happen now. Club would likely give me around 25 million to spend 8-ish on Whitaker, and I have 17 million for a starting centre-back. Or I can start Richards. Richards is good. 17 million. Lads, who's your centre-back recommendations for 17 million? There's going to be a... I mean... First season, you won't. Harwood Bellis has been brilliant for me in the championship. Beraldo might be a bit young at the start of the, start of the game, though. He might be like 18 or something, so he might not be a starting um, starting centre back. But Beraldo has been quality for me uh, in uh, for Derby. Absolute top top baller. Um, you could even go and get someone like Aaron Cashin from Derby. He was good for me. He's been solid for me in the Premier League. He's not as good if you're challenging for Premier Leagues and stuff, but when I came up, he was solid. Um, ooh, this guy, Abdul Rashid. Left, Malaysian left winger for 24k. Doesn't look bad. That's the thing. We might be able to get some, like, Debast from Andalect. Yeah, baller. Baller. Absolute baller. Top, top notch player. Absolute top notch player. Always goes to, like, City or. A big team, to be honest. 
And he went to PSG on my derby save. They never played him. I tried to buy him, but he wanted like 56 million. And it's like, well, he hasn't played for two seasons. Like, I'm not giving you 56 million player pound for a bench player. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's it's, it's got no match fitness, no nothing. I can get a Brazilian new gen for 8 million. That's better. <laughs> it just doesn't make no sense. Just price us out of the marketplace. Come on, the boys. Finish the season on a high. Let's go. Can we finish this season on a high? What are we saying? Finishing the season on a high or are we going to bottle the end of the season? Even if we get a point, it's, it's bad enough. And these, these guys are a good team. Kogashima. Third place. There are a lot of points behind us, let's be honest. But And we don't have a left back. So, Did you fix the players with an invisible face? Not yet. I don't know what's happened. I've downloaded all of the, the face packs for the game. And yet there's still some with invisible faces. So I don't I don't know. I've just got to find a fix, to be honest, mate. I've got to find a fix. Like, and it's all the big players. I've noticed it's like uh all the like like the Mbappes and those sort of players. It's not like the Japanese players, like we've got all the faces for them. But the Mbappes and those sort of players, like Premier League players, they're just not there. So I might have to download a different like Premier League uh like face pack if you guys have got any recommendations. I used this the SI one that's 14 parts and for some reason, that that just I haven't got the big players. It's really annoying. I have to say, lads, it is, it is a bit annoying. But we shouldn't have that problem in this in this save, to be fair. Unless we go to Europe and start uh, start managing Europe at some point, which you never know in these in these journeymans. We could we could get back to Europe at some point. Who knows? Yuki's got a book in. Not much happened in this game. It's been a bit, a bit of a drab game, I have to say. Not, not much happening in the, in the first half of the game. We just, you know, both teams got nothing to play for. Just playing out a draw by the look of it. Shiba, banger from Keita Shiba. Big goal. Let's go. Can we? Fin we don't deserve it. We genuinely don't deserve the goal, but we'll take it. We will absolutely. There's one that has every player in the game. It's about 13 gig though. That's fine, mate. If there's one of those. If you've got the link, man, chuck it in the Discord. I'll 100% I'll download it and apply it because we need we need the faces in the game. Oh, brilliant header from Tony. The Japanese Ivan Tony scored against us. Cashin worth 4.9 and the Beast 20. Cashin isn't much worse. Cashin's a good player, you know. Dumb, he's done bits for me, I'm not going to lie. Homegrown player as well, so counts if you go into Europe. I'd give him a try. I mean, I'm not saying he's a world beater. I'm going to be honest. He's not a world beater. Like, he's not a world-class centre-back. But he does have a lot of potential. And I think he's worth he's worth a gamble. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's, wor he's, worth, he's worth trying if you've never had him. It was brilliant for me for Derby. League One, Championship, Premier League. Sitting on the bench a little bit for me now because we're in a title race and we've got better defenders. But... I mean, for, for what you need in the first couple of seasons, he'll be, he'll be more than good enough. In my opinion. Here is a cheater. Kobayashi's last ever game as a football player. He can't lose his last ever game. Like, he won't forgive us. Here's Japanese Mark Noble. Tsunami! Oh, he should have finished that. Only issue is with his pace. Yeah, he's not very pacey, I'll be honest. He's, that is an issue, and it doesn't really improve, I'll be honest. His pace doesn't improve, but... He's solid. He scores goals from corners. He's he's a top-notch player. We finished the season with a draw, lads. I don't, I, I'm not I'm not angry about that. I think finishing the season with a point is good. We finished second. We've done well. 13 points off the pace. But look, the goal difference was there. Remember, we came in less than half, like over halfway through the season. If we had come in at the start of the season, we'd have won the J League three. There's we would have won it. Let's be honest. We we definitely would have won that. But we can't talk about if, buts, and maybes. We've got to start talking about facts and we've got to start preparing for the next season. Brazilian centre back, Toyama at Mbari. He's played a lot of games for Mbari. Do we do we try and get him on a free? Let's see what he wants. Regular starter. If he want, does he want a mad wage? No, he wants a mad wage, 1.4 grand a week. We'll wait. We'll see it out. We'll see it out. See who gets released, and then we'll go from there. But good season. What do you guys reckon on that season? I reckon it was a good season. A, a good team to start with as well. Like a good little team to start. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to need 
yeah the goalkeeper is is 38 of course he's gonna of course he's gonna decline he's he's, he's getting old he's getting on a bit 38 year old goalkeeper was decent though was decent got 13k nice that's gonna cover the 2.6 million pound we're gonna spend next season <laughs> i don't think so got more social media followers which is great what more do we want that's why we're here except the current vision end of season meeting yeah i mean the, the team's doing all right to be honest i have nothing else to say because if i say much everyone's gonna get angry gonna go mate got things to do in the di got things to do in the discord now so I'll... yeah no worries bro all good man have a good evening as well man have a good evening But yeah, hopefully, I don't know when the next season starts in Japan, to be honest. I don't know when the transfer windows are or anything. So, Fukushima have agreed to rent the Kaizen Athletic Stadium next season for the J League 2. Fukushima Stadium is currently, does not meet the requirements. Oh, okay, cool. All right, we're going to get, an, ho send it in the Discord general. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I'll download that after the stream, man. I'll download that after the stream. Thanks for that, Liam, man. I appreciate that. Would Kashin be a starter? Not for Palace in the first season, no, definitely not. No, no, he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be a starter. He wouldn't. Wouldn't be a starter, mate. He'd be a bench player, I think. So I think if you're gonna get someone, uh, the Bast is better. Even if you've got to pay twenty, he's he's better. He, he he is, and he does develop. Like, and he will he will be very good for you. He always goes to like PSG, Bayern Munich. Like, he's always at a big club on Football Manager. So, yeah, I mean, I would. I, I would game if I was you. End of season review. Always one of my favorite things to do. We did very well. None of these signings are ours. It was a good season. All Japan Cup. We didn't really we didn't play any all Japan Cup games because we came in after the after the season started. We Yuki got 16 goals in the league. Did very well. We, we, we were good. This was all before we came into the football club. And then you can see when we came into the football club. The W's started flowing. Obviously, we lost that against Raku. But yeah, look at all those dubs. Few draws in there. Can't go wrong. I think we did really well. Great, great season. All the sponsorships are up and all that kind of stuff. I think 2.4 million pounds in sponsorships in the Japanese second division is a crazy, is crazy. It's more than a championship in England. I know Japan's a is Japan, but they got mad money, you know. They might have got mad money. Gambaro Saka win the Japanese Cup over Niga Nigata FC, I want to say. Nigata. Probably can't say that on stream. Um, but yeah. Got a deal, 18 million. For Debas, that's a that's a deal, man. That's a good deal. Not going to lie, it's a quality deal. Record high. Let's go. Look, record high. Second place is our biggest ever. Best place. Wherever we finish next season is going to be better than that as well. So we're going to set another record as manager. Hopefully further increasing our reputation as Fukushima boss. We can have no set piece coaches. Okay, we can have a new head of performance analyst and performance analyst. All right, let's get those staff members in. You know me, I like to have staff members. Uh, where is it? I'm looking at the wrong one. Am I looking at the wrong one? Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong one. Apparently we've already got... Oh, maybe they moved it. I read it wrong, obviously. So I should probably sell Anderson. I would sell Anderson and buy the bastard. If I'm honest, I, I would do that. That would be my choice. But... Ooh, this guy plays at Cam. It's a four-star. Let's offer him a trial for four weeks, see how he gets on. But I want to wait until Japanese clubs release players to see who we can get. Because I think if we get players now, they might be good for the squad that we've got. And then we find out this guy actually isn't any good next season. If that makes sense. So we don't want to jump to conclusions buying players. Like this Imbari guy is only good for the J League 3. Like we don't need a J League 3 defender. Like we need a J League 2 defender. Like he might be good. Maybe he's maybe he's the best centre back we can get. But we'll find out. We'll see how good he actually is. Can't wait for the new gens to come through, you know. I genuinely can't wait for the new gens to come through. I think that's going to be class. Like, you guys being new gens in the save is, is going to be important. Suzu wants a new contract. Ah, uh, mate, you're not good enough, bro. When's your contract running out? 2025. He's got time on the deal as well. 
can have a chat with him. No, he's, he doesn't. Got plenty of time on your contract. I'm not going to back down here. Yeah, you can go then, bro. Transfer. Set transfer status. Transfer listed. Let's talk to the... Let's talk to the agent. We need to get rid of him. Oh, I know how to do this, man. I don't want the... Offer via transfer room. Unspecified. He's coming out of the football club. He's getting in the reserves. It's not good enough. It's not good enough for this football club. When did the new gens come through? It was supposed to be October, mate. That's why I said in the Discord that you should get one today, but I was obviously wrong. It did say October, but I think it might be the following year. I guess we'll find out. I don't know much about the, the Japanese intake days and stuff. Never managed in the league before. So it's, it's all brand new to me, to be honest. Tacoma. Yu Tasunka. Oh, he looks decent. Pressing forward. Don't look bad. Looks all right. Awano. Yeah, we need to give Awano a new contract, to be honest. But not on this kind of money. Like, you're on £300 a week, Rev. Not yearly wage raz. Yeah, top division. If we go if we go Prem, cool. No, he said no. Okay. Fair play, he can go as well. Everyone can go. Just tried to give you a new contract and you said no. Right, let's try that one again. 900, that's all you're getting. No yearly wage rise. Let's put some bonuses in there because that normally is what what helps. What helps? Uh, 20, 25. There we go, that'll do. He was decent for us this season. Was a ever present player, so can't really can't really say anything about him. He was he was fairly decent, fairly decent baller. Right, lads, that is the end of today's stream because I need to go and do some dinner. I'm very hungry, and I'm going to watch the Champions League football later as well. But yeah, thanks for joining again today. We got the promotion that we said we would. We're going to build on the next stream towards the towards the next season and building towards a, a J League 2 season, which will be absolutely class. I feel like we're going to stay up. We're going to do very well. We're going to build a good squad. We're going to get some new gens through, hopefully, that you guys can become. And yeah, look forward to seeing you guys on the next stream.